Um, I'm Reed Smith. I'm the Recreation Manager for the City of Woodbury in the Parks and Recreation Department. On behalf of the City of Woodbury, I, uh, I want to welcome you to the Am Health Therapy Sports Center tonight. I'm very excited to be here uh, at this AED donation ceremony um, with the Teddy, Teddy's Heart Foundation. First, I want to acknowledge uh, Michelle Okada, our Parks and Rec Director, who's here tonight. Um, I also want to recognize our Public Safety Fire EMS team over here. They came out to support this event. Um, and uh, Kevin Asakis, who manages our AED program. Um, Kevin also made sure that the AED was in the units and ready to operate and function correctly. So thank you, Kevin. Not here tonight is our Public Works Parks and Forestry staff. They actually installed the unit into the ground, hooked up all the utilities, and made sure it was ready for Kevin and his team to install the AED unit. Um, so I appreciate their help and support as well. And finally, I want to thank uh, Teddy's Heart Foundation, Craig and Emily Dowdle, and the Dowdle family for this incredibly generous um, and thoughtful contribution to the city of Woodbury and our community members. Um, I look forward to the partnership working together with the Teddy's Heart Foundation and the Dowdle family. Um, and I'm also excited and thankful for the AED CPR uh, training and resources that Teddy's Heart Foundation will provide the community and city staff. So with that, I'm gonna pass it over to Bob Bixie, and Bix Bixby with the Lions Club, and he's gonna talk about another donation that the Lions Club has been working on. Thank you very much. Um, as you said, my name is Bob Bixby, and I'm representing the uh, Woodbury Lions Club and also uh, the Bixby family. We moved here 13 years ago um, this fall, and we've been friends with the Dowdle family almost to the day we moved in. Uh, we were actually right here watching our kids uh, play football, and I, I remember Craig coming over and recruiting us onto his, uh, to, to his team. Our son Peyton played um, football with him that fall 13 years ago when they were in the fifth grade and they continued playing sports together for, for several years after until um, that aortic um, valve was diagnosed. Uh, Teddy loved playing sports. He continued to play or, or participate in sports um, with, with Peyton and, and all the siblings um, as a team manager at the high school level and it was just great to be a part of the the, the Teddy uh, Teddy uh, program. Um, through sports and Teddy and the Dowdle family and all of our kids' activities, it was been, it's been it's been an awesome journey with the Dowdle family. Um, I don't know why I'm shaking so much. <laughs> it might be this camera. Um, holy cow. <laughs> um, as a leader of the Lions Club, Craig came to me and asked me, he goes, how can uh, we connect with the Lions Club? And we, we brainstormed a few ideas and the, and the idea of, of joining and participating in our, our, our uh, golf outing, our annual golf outing came up. And so this past Monday, we had 125 golfers out um, and with the Teddy's Heart Foundation, they really helped boost the, the attendance and the participation. And we were able to raise $7,000 for the second AED that will be installed at Ojibwe Park this fall. Sound. It, the, uh, the, it, I said out over over at Ojibwe Park, but it's going to be placed. I guess Michelle will be near near the Woodbury the, the Lions Club uh, band shell, or uh, no, actually across the at the at the activity wheel. Awesome. So, as a member of the community, I'm proud to see this uh, incredible effort by the Dowdle. Uh, Dowdle, the Teddy Hart Foundation, working collectively with the city. Um, it's actually, you know, um, just an absolute uh, blessing to be a part of those. So on behalf of the Lions Club and the Bixby family, I say keep your passion going. Uh, keep your dream alive to make sure that Cottage Grove and Woodbury Parks has an AED. To, so I say thank you to Teddy's Heart, and let's do this together. Uh, thank you, everybody, for showing up um, once again. Uh, when we were in Cottage Grove on May 4th, beautiful day, and I think Teddy had something to do with that. And once again, here we are on August 17th, and another awesome day. I think he knew it was my birthday, too, so <laughs> and he gave it a little bit there, too. So, All right, um, May 4th, 2022 started out like any other day. Teddy had been golfing the day before, so missed the game of basketball, and, and he accused his brother Carter of not inviting him to play because he was too good. 
Now a new day and a new game to be played. Getting ready for the game, choosing his all red, shiny Nike basketball shoes as his shoe of choice. Mummy, two pictures. All right. Um, Teddy, Teddy was a shoe guy, so he had many options. But the Ronald McDonald look is what he went for. No indication whatsoever that day would play out as it did. No indication whatsoever how this day would change our lives forever. Just a few minutes into the basketball game at Woodridge Park, Teddy pulled down a rebound. Passed it to his brother, then collapsed. Suffering sudden cardiac arrest at the age of 22. CPR was performed, but there was no immediate access to an ADD. Teddy's fate may have been a lot different that day if only an AED was available. We started Tardy Teddy's Heart Foundation to provide CPR and AED training to the community and to fundraise to place outdoor AED units in public parks for public use. We do this so that no other family has to endure this tragic loss. Sudden cardiac arrest is a life-threatening emergency. Only one of 10 people that suffer cardiac, sudden cardiac arrest outside the hospital will survive. Survival depends on the quick action of people nearby calling 911, starting CPR, and using an AED as soon as possible. We know quick response can save lives. Um, look at Damar Hamlin and Bronnie James. Just two high profile cases of athletes suffering cardiac arrest in which quick action of receiving CPR and an AED shock help save their lives. We need to be prepared. We need to act and give people suffering cardiac, sudden cardiac arrest a better chance at survival. It is our hope that adding these safe stations in our parks, that educating and training people on CPR and AED usage, via, that we are doing just that. On May 4th of 2023, just one year to the date of Teddy's passing at Woodridge Park, we place our first safe station unit there. Today, we place our first but not last in Woodbury. On Monday, as Bob said, we had a fundraiser and made a ton of money. And with that ton of money, we are going to put up our second one at Ojibwe Park. And that will be coming in hopefully two weeks. So we're, be ready for that. But we are not done. There are so many more parks and so many more people to be trained in, in this community. City of Cottage Grove. City of Cottage Grove Lions Club, City of Cottage Grove Athletic Association, the City of Cottage Grove, Woodbury, City of Woodbury, the Woodbury Lions, Eastridge Athletic Association, Woodbury Athletic Association. Everybody, the whole community has been so supportive of Teddy's Heart Foundation. Just today, August 17th, I found out that the city of Cottage Grove has purchased five safe station units and will have them within a month. That'll put six safe, outdoor safe stations in the city of Cottage Grove. In Woodbury, we unveiled tonight's. In a couple weeks, we'll have one at Ojibwe. We're working on putting one inside the nest, and hopefully that, that can just get this done this year. 
And then we continue to fundraise. We fundraise, we fundraise, we fundraise. We work hard as a family. And I'll tell you right, right now, it's not just the family. It's the friends and it's the communities of Cottage Grove and Woodbury. The support that we get is huge. So what we need is on August 31st at the Park versus Eastridge football game at TCO Stadium, we expect four to thousand, 5,000 fans to attend the Teddy's Heart Foundation football game. And we're making it a red out. Both the Park at AD and the Eastridge AD are supportive. And they're having a contest. Who can wear more red on each sideline? <laughs> All right. So with that, we came up with the idea of selling a $10 t-shirt, a Teddy's Heart t-shirt. You can pick one up online. That's one way. We get $5 of every $10. So can you imagine if 2,000 people buy a t-shirt? We could put another unit somewhere. And then we have our end of the year bash. We're having a taco feed at the VFW. Buy a $20 ticket and you have a chance, if you not even show up, to win $1,000. We'll have band, we'll have games. It's going to be a good time. So stuff like that is just a start. And we've only been at this less than a year. I mean, the DeMar Hanlon situation kicked us up a little bit, but um, for one year or less, I think we're doing a hell of a job. Once again, uh, I want to thank everybody for being here, um, and I want to introduce my wife, Emily, if you want to come up here. And uh, my oldest son Carter do you want to come up here and his wife Courtney if you want to come up here oh wait Courtney's playing with her my new grand dog Madden <laughs> they just uh, picked up Madden two weeks ago so here comes Courtney and then my little baby girl Olivia if she could come up here all right so like i said thank you everybody for being here um and at the count of three we unveil the first save station aed unit in the city of woodbury one two three So right now in the United States, we have about 750 of these units, all right? Um, Emily and I were on a conference um, video the, the other day, and just in the last two months, they've had two saves. That's, uh, and that's unbelievable. That's just the last two months. So we don't want to have to use this, but if we use it, We'll get saves, and that's what we want. Let's get some saves. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Um, the the Dowdle family and the Teddy's Heart Foundation really appreciate it. Thank you.